Rack six, and power edge to brake, leading trailing five racks to nil. So Sven's second appearance in a world championship is proving to be a difficult one. He's got the wing ball down. He's got something else as well. Yeah, but he sent that cue ball all around the table. Now he, he's he's fortunate. He has a shot on the two ball, but he's got to learn to control that rock. His only other appearance at this stage came in 1999, and Jerry, he went to the quarterfinals that year, so he's not a mug. No, but you know, that was the year that we had two world championships. There was a bit of a political game One of those, going on, right. and not every player showed up at both events. There were a lot of funny things going on in 99. Not that I wish to discount his performance. He still came through a strong field. But he hasn't been back since. And doesn't look on this form, quite frankly, like he's going to be troubling us uh, into the latter stages of this one. Well, he's, he's on the wrong side of this ball. Uh, he wanted to be closer to the rail so that he could float the cue ball out to center table after this shot. Now he's got to hit it pretty firmly or play the combination on the seven. He elected to hit it firmly, and he's missed a gain. I, he's not... His problem really is he's just not controlling the cue ball. He's not getting shape. And without shape, this is what happens to you. He's given very nice shape. Oh, you can see how disturbed he is. He's given uh, pretty good shape to Wu. Fairly routine clearance here. The only good bit of news that you could offer Sven Powerich at the moment is it's not the toughest group on paper that you could you, you could find. Yeah, you've got Wu, and, and everyone would expect to lose to him. But also in this group, Harold Rousseau of Canada and Chan Can Kwan of, of Singapore. So it's a group you can still get out of. That's the way you've got to think, of it, uh, think about it. It's not like he's got Efren Reyes up next, for goodness sake. Yeah, that's true. And that's already what uh, Sven's got to be thinking. Yeah, just... Uh, Get this nightmare out of the way, Sven, and uh, concentrate on winning those next two matches. If you win two matches, you're almost certainly through. If you lose two, you're almost certainly going home. Out, yeah. Well, Wu is free-stroking now. Those balls are obeying him very, very well. But it's just an endless series of gifts he's being offered by his opponent here, and this fella doesn't need gifts for free. Not when you're the world champion. You make your own good fortune. Powerage is giving him a bunch and he's saying, thank you very much, I'll have that. If you don't want it, I'll take it. And misses like that have just cost him dear today. This uh, Wu, our defending champion, one of the nicest fellows you'd ever want to meet. You know what he did with his prize money last year? I he remember. bought his grandmother yeah. a house. So. And he burst into tears as he was telling everyone that's what he was going to do. And then we all burst into tears as well. Yeah. Because it was a really touching moment, wasn't it? Well, his grandmother raised him and tutored him throughout his, his young Rack life. Seven, to break. And she is really Leading his inspiration in life. life. And it's the way she was straightening his hair for the photos. That's when you realize, yeah, this, he's just a baby. 16 years old back then and only just 16. That was an extraordinary tale. I think you, I think you said at the time, Jerry, he, he, he's too young to know what pressure is and what's expected right. of him. And look at this break Whew. shot. I think that's seven racks to woo. I, I believe it is. <laughs> Boy, when you make four balls on the break, my goodness. And you can see that his cue ball would have been in the middle of the table had he not been kicked by another ball. Just got to watch, and you see Nigel Reese there, there's a, he's covering a ball there. And has managed to avoid contact. The pot wasn't the difficulty. It was making sure he didn't touch that uh, that pink, I believe it is. Not the pink, sorry, the orange. The pink is his next shot. No problems. He just has to connect the dots. Oh, Ooh, my. He one. used the full pocket yeah. there, Nick. Wiped its feet on the way in, as our old buddy uh, Jim Weich would say. Yeah, and he's got to power this shot to get back out to center table for the seven. So that wasn't the best of efforts. That was. 
that shot was very missable with the power that he played on that, but it dropped. And he played it into that corner pocket that had haunted him earlier in the match. So that little ghost is gone. That's been well and truly laid. And with this, Wu goes on the hill just like that. It's been far too easy for the defending champion. The good news for Sven Paric is he'll break next. The bad news is he needs to win eight in a row, and that's not happening. Sven Paric breaking to avoid the shutout. He's not had a problem breaking. That wing ball's gone for him every time. It's what happens after that that becomes a problem. And again, Jerry, you've been referring to this repeatedly. He doesn't get control of that cue ball. I didn't see it get a kick either. Well, I didn't either, but I wasn't watching that closely. Let's see here. Oh, oh it, does it did. Get a kick. No, to be fair, but, to him, he, yeah. but still, he was going to lose it behind the rack. <laughs> uh, so the kick really helped him a little bit. At least now he has a shot. He did manage to put three balls down on that break. So if he can knock this two in and get position on the three, he should be up and running. But nothing has come easy for him, and he's only just managed to clear that little mini cluster there. I thought he was going to end up with egg on his face after that shot, but he's got away with it. But then he may have a problem down the road as a result of that position. Yeah, he's got to come all the way back down to the end of the table from which he is standing uh, for the four ball. You know, yeah, the, the natural path in there. He's going to have to do something with some English here. I've, and the worst thing that could happen for him would be to actually run into that cluster and then not have control of his own fate. Oh boy, uncomfortable queuing angle. You know, obviously as a pool player, you'd like to be, you'd like to have your eyes down on the same plane as the, as the balls and he can't do that here. So this is difficult aiming. Well, let's give him some credit. That was a good shot, except What's he going to do with this for? He's got to play a safety now and just tuck that cue ball up as close as he can to the eight. He could get control of the table here. So all things are not bad just because he can't make this ball. He's, he's got a good, good safety opportunity here. But he has to pull it through. He's got to do this. Well, if he doesn't, this could be his last shot of the tournament. That's... That's just not acceptable. He, he needed to be actually frozen to the eight ball. He's left a fairly routine kick for a world champion. Not a kick to make, but a, a kick to hit. And he, he, he could make it. Wu could make this shot. No, he's, he's come back off the rail and everything with it, hasn't he? And, uh... You know, he wanted to slide over to the rail and then come right back up and marry the eight. His game plan is just not gelling. Well, if Wu makes this, it's lights out for Sven. Don't really look for him to make it. But, uh, oh, boy, has he left a tough shot. Uh, is he going to cover it up? No, he's not. But no. it's still a tough shot from the jaws of the pocket, as you can see. Yeah, look where he's going to be queuing from. His yeah. bridge hand is going to be clumsy. Here's another look at the kick. It, Jerry, is, is the problem from when, when you're in there, when you're right in the jaws of the pocket there, that, where, where Wu's left him, is, is the problem of getting control of that cue ball? Yeah, the, the problem is you don't have as steady a bridge as you would like. And plus, he's only got part of the cue ball to work with. He can't put draw on it, for instance. He's missed again. That was a tough one, but again, he's missed by an awful long way. And he may be sitting down for the last time in this match. You know, I think I think at this point, he'd be happy to see this match over. Yeah, he Go wants on out down here, the road. He? He's got to think about those next two matches coming up, which are both winnable. Yep. And if he wins them both, he'll he'll be joining us in the uh, in the last 64. But Absolutely. Nothing else has gone right for him, not in this one. This is not what you want when you're on the TV table against the defending champion, and you've got a chance to really make a name for yourself. Instead, you're making a name for yourself for being shut out. Well, another good shot from Wu, and this, that should do it. You know, you're talking about the road that Sven has down the, you know, for the rest of this, this tournament, and one of the players that he's going to be facing is Harold Russo of Canada. He may not even know who Harold is. But I can tell you, if Harold Rousseau catches a gear, 
Sven's not going to like it. Mm. That guy can be tough. Well, Mr. Wu would have liked to have had more angle than this with which to work. But he's the world champion. I imagine he's going to find a way. Ooh, he found a way to make it tough. Still, you got to expect him to finish this off right here. His nightmare will soon be over. Yeah, he's. He wants out, doesn't he? <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. If there was a towel to throw in, you'd have done it by now. The last shot of the match. Oh, you just jinxed him. No, I did just jinx him. <laughs> the commentator's curse. Will this be the first rack? Here's another look at that shot. Well, when you're eight nothing up, I guess you can uh, afford yourself uh, quiet, please. a little sloppy. He's left a long one, and the way Sven's been potting, there's been a couple of nice shots for the German, but there's been two or three absolute stinkers as well. So Even the way he's playing, he's 70-30 favored to make this shot. Well, he's missed it by so him. much for odds. Jerry, when we see the replay of that, you you will not believe how wide, how badly he's missed that. But it he just sums believe. up his day, doesn't he? It's a shocker. And and we Let know down, that he is a better player than that. He knows it. You can't qualify for this tournament by being a club player. Not the easiest shot in the world, playing off the rail. And Wu seals the deal for a whitewash to start the defense of his World Pool Championship. It has to be said, though, that as well as Wu played and as comfortably as he looked, quite frankly, had an opponent that was giving him every opportunity. There was that miss once again from Sven, and that was him getting out of town. So, one goes into the record books. Wu Cha Ching with a comfortable 8 0 whitewash of Sven Powerich to take control of Group 1. Quite an important win by the score because now the rest of Wu's opponents are going to look at the scores and say, uh oh, he's back. And there's the other two fellas Chang Ken Kwan of Singapore and Harold Rousseau.